So today I wanted to put out a quick video related to 3D modeling and specifically talk about this design which was one of my first 3D models that I put out on Thingiverse and is one of the more popular ones. So I kind of wanted to show you how easy it is and how a simple modified loft can come up with some pretty complex patterns and designs. So I'll start by making a new component. Calling it Twisted Vase. It's activated. Now, I'll make a new sketch. We'll pick the XZ plane, and we'll first create a base. So I'll create a polygon, starting at the center point. We'll do a six side polygon with a 20 millimeter base. And we'll stop the sketch here. Now we need to create the top. And in order to do that, we'll first do an offset plane. So we can draw the sketch on it. So we'll select the plane for the offset. And we'll make this vase 100 millimeters tall. So I'll offset the plane 100 millimeters away from the vase. And now I can create a new sketch on this offset plane. And again, all I need to do is create a polygon. And this time let's make it 10 millimeters. Stop the sketch. And I have the base and the top of the base completed now. And those are my two endpoints for the loft. So I'm going to loft from the base to the top to create the solid. But if I just do a simple loft from the top to the base, you'll notice I get something that resembles the vase, but what I'm missing is a twist. What I also get are these points which are interconnected with lines and these lines guide the loft. So what I can do is take each of these points and for now I'm gonna, I'm gonna drag it across. Basically I need to make space to drag each of these points exactly two vertices over. And I'm just gonna fix a couple points here. Snap to the actual vertex. And once I click OK, I have my vase solid, just like the real one. Now you could play with the number of sides of the polygon and play with the offset to make different patterns. So the last thing I need to do is hollow out the interior so this thing doesn't print out as a solid. And so to do that, we're gonna do a shell command, select the top face, and it asks me for the inside thickness. So I'll make my wall one millimeter thick. Hit enter and there it is. You can see that inside this thing is hollow. Base is still there and we have a complete base. So I will post the Fusion 360 source file on the Thingiverse site for the vase in case you want to remix it and come up with your own designs. Even though it's a simple design that only took five steps, I think it shows how you can make pretty cool patterns with just a simple modified loft. Thanks for watching the video. If you liked it and want to see more on my channel, please click the subscribe button. Thank you.